Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. Today is going to be pretty short and sweet, just a few key stories that happened in the LEGO community this week. Maybe the biggest one being that no new sets got 10,000 votes of support this week from Ideas, which is the first time in a very long time. Before we jump in, first I'd like to say that you can check out our LEGO Instructions web store. We partner with some amazing creators from all over the world. There you can buy the PDF step-by-step -step instructions plus parts lists if you wanted to build these models for yourself. Links to here and every source that I'm talking about in this news video are all in the description below. And let's jump right in with the set reveal of the week. The Lego Queer Eye Fab 5 Loft has been revealed. 974 pieces will sell for $100, be available October 1st. And it seems to be similar to many of the other TV show based sets, mostly that came from ideas, but it looks like they've gone ahead and done this particular sort of main loft area for the uh, for the characters. The official pricing and release date for the Santa's sleigh set has been announced, available October 1st, 343 pieces, selling for $36.99 in the States. The reindeer battle pack finally has some nice high resolution images, so you get a good, better, slightly better look as to what everything is here and what's included. And then a couple weeks back, we showed a very low res image of the mini Disney castle set. Now here are the greater images. It looks actually pretty darn excellent. It's almost like the architecture line decided to do the Disney castle. It's going to be available October 1st like everything else. 567 pieces will sell for $34.99 and that Mickey Mouse minifigure does look to be exclusive to just this set. VP of Lego design Matthew Ashton teased or said something about his favorite licensed minifigure line is going to be coming out next year. The rumor mill is that's going to be a Muppets collectible minifigure series. There's also a rumor that Star Wars battle packs might be coming back for next year, but they might not be called battle packs. Lego Japan teased this little video for Bricktober. And then the final reveal of some Toys R Us exclusive promotional sets for Bricktober were revealed with a purchase of $69 or more you'll be able to get these book cover these fairy tale depicted book cover uh, little sets the promotion for Hansel and Gretel starts just before October on the 24th of September then Jack and the Beanstalk begins on the 8th and Little Red Riding Hood for the 16th let me know if you think this is a better option than the collectible minifigures for Toys R Us Bricktober come on one person I'm I'm sure there's somebody out there that likes this more than the figs I think it was promo bricks that talked about a much larger list of retiring soon sets. Lego has confirmed some of the major ones officially on their site, so if you want to see some sets that are retiring very soon, a bit of that has already been confirmed. And anyways, there you go. That's it for the Lego news. Nothing too major, no drama, and no new sets got voted in for ideas. If you have any extra time, I highly recommend you check out the web store. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever it is that you want to do, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.